previously I ran this code based on uh, well it's Black Shoals code um, and it's based on code I got from uh, Fabrice Rua and uh, Stephen Haston um, their book so they Basically, the book is uh, different implementations of the Heston model. Um, but in this instance, I, I borrowed code for Black Shoals and I set it up in, in C Sharp in the Visual Studio, um, Microsoft Visual Studio. We debugged it, we got 1045, um, and that result checks out. So what I'd like to do now is uh, take this a step further by setting up a Windows form and um, then setting it out or publishing it as a program that can be installed um, on a computer. So the idea of a, a Windows form would be to take these parameter values and set them up as um, text boxes in a form where I click a button and I get results out. The advantage of setting out um, black shows in this format, it, it would be difficult to, it's relatively clear, difficult to manipulate or to make some kind of um, a mistake because of a misjudgment in which parameter um, would be identified. So, in a sense, it's uh, ideal in an environment where you know the formula works. There are other end users to the formula. Uh, they're not used to dealing with code. But within two clicks or with one click and with the entry of parameter inputs, they get the correct result. Okay, so to set out a form for Black Scholes, then uh, go back into the IDE and we'll create a new project. And we come to, in this instance, uh, we're going to use C Sharp, okay, because it supports uh, Windows Forms. We're not going to use the console application, it is a Windows Forms application. And we'll say Black Shoals Windows uh, Forms. Okay, and hit OK, and the form appears, and then come up to View, and come down to Tool, Toolbox, and the Toolbox is where we have um, the different um, utilities for putting on buttons and labels and so on. So we'll start get the ball rolling by. Uh, bringing over labels, so we need at least six. There's got to be a variable for S in a Black Scholes environment S, K, R, Q, T, and volatility. So we'll bring over each of these and let's redimension the form to make a little bit more space. And we can take this out and let's come down again so we've label 5 label 6 these are the black shoals parameters we need a label 7 for output as well so perhaps we put this here and we can take each of these labels and just line them up so they're in line with each other and then uh, we need to identify the labels give them a text that's appropriate so let's go to view again and build although I'm just a little bit outside uh, properties window so just here at the bottom there's a properties window and properties come up and we have um, okay we've, first of all I suppose the windows form we could change to um, black shoals Okay, and maybe put a gap here, it's possible to do that. And then go to the labels. So 
I've identified one label. I just click once, not twice, um, and the label, the text, to change the text here, we just put in highlight label one, write S and return. Okay, and we need a K. Okay, so highlight label two and put in K for exercise and the option label three would be R, the risk free rate and return. Label four would be Q, the dividend yield and return. Label five would be the maturity of the option contract. So T and return and label 6 is going to be volatility and I'm going to refer to that as V lowercase v return and then label 7 is going to be related to the output and uh, we'll refer to this as just the call and I'm just putting in code here for a call option black shows call now these are just labels but I need in addition a, fun a button and I also need text boxes, so uh, let's see if we can find text box. It's here, and we'll just bring it across, and I'll try to line up everything. So again, text box again, and um, if you like, um, that doesn't look right. Let's just delete that one. Text box. Where did you go? Text. Let's order alphabetically. Right, so text box, and again another text box, and each instance I'm left clicking, carrying the box over, and then releasing the left click, and left clicking, holding the mouse down, and then releasing when it's in place, and likewise here as well, and a text box for the output, okay, and each of these I will give a name now again as before perhaps we need to line these up so left the line let's see and they were pretty much in line anyway and also perhaps okay maybe all of them I need to okay they were aligned and verify the spacing is even right so let's see this one and I'll do likewise here just to make sure that the spacing vertically is in line and then we have um, I presume we need a, a call output redimension a little bit maybe bring this in and we need a button and the button triggers an action so we'll just put that perhaps here and drag it over a little bit now before we give the button an action we also need to give each of these text boxes a name so let's look for uh, the name here and the name here is at the top so I want to give the function a name um, and I want to refer to it as a somehow denote as a text box. So TB to denote text box, then underscore and S. Okay, and likewise I want to give the box a name to identify it, underscore K. And likewise we'll have text box. I'll keep this simple TB underscore R and it's lowercase r and tb so I'm changing from text box 4 to tb underscore and this instance it's q and likewise tb underscore and t capital T and then v here is tb lowercase b underscore and v lowercase v okay so we have that in place 
and I also want to give the text box 7 a name TB underscore and I'm going to call it call the capital C okay okay now we've a button here and I need to give that button um, some text that is consistent with what we might expect to do so I'll call it black shows black b-l-a-c-k shows call okay and return and fits nicely and um, we also need to give it a function and to give the text box to give this button a function you need to double click and when it double clicks we have if you like um, a place where we can enter a code to say okay what event do we want to trigger by hitting that button on the form so so I need to paste in code and the code is based on um, if you like so edit paste and the code is based on let's close that down and close this down it's based on the Heston the Fabrice Roy and Stephen Heston's code but I needed to make some changes as well so I didn't call functions up as much I declared variables then I set out d1 and d2 consistent with the way Heston and uh, Roy have their code and then declared variables for b0 to b5 including a pi and then I individually calculated d1 and d2 right as given here but then also individually estimated nd1 and nd2 so I repeated some code which then in turn were used for estimating the call um, the black Scholes call so nd1 nd2 are organized a little bit differently to the original uh, Fabrice Roy and Stephen Heston's code from their book, right? Um, okay, so that code is in. That the TB call, right, is equal to the call, which is estimated here. So what goes into the TB call, the text box call, is being driven by this. And that the original parameter inputs are declared so s k r q t v these are being uh, if you like pulled out of the text boxes the t b underscore s the t b underscore k and so on okay so that those text boxes the values in there become doubles and then they get uh, put into the estimation for the black shoulder so let's go back into our form for a moment Okay, so we go to form design. Let's just check does it work. We'll hit debug. And hopefully there are no problems. Okay, let's try this. 100. 100. So I'm using the parameter inputs I've been using all along. Exercise is 100. Risk free rate is 5%. No dividend yield. Time period 1 year. Volatility 20% and hit black Scholes call and then i just verify that the result is correct and i'm getting 1045 okay so i'm getting a a, a black Scholes output of 1045 which i know is correct okay so this uh, function this uh, black Scholes form i can see obviously is working okay the code that i use i'll put a link to it just underneath the video and you'll be able to retrieve the code code from a, a OneDrive.